it's uh, not really a opportunity to fund uh, new vessels from the MFAF because it's just too small of a fund. Uh, and especially when we're talking about the midterm review, that would be extremely difficult. I think MFAF can contribute in, in, in many ways of uh, testing, uh, testing, scaling up uh, technology and etc. But building uh, new boats from uh, public money it has been always a difficult, uh, uh, difficult uh, discussion. Uh, I think you know we have to see how MFAF can contribute, how it can blend together with uh, with the, with the private uh, funds, but uh, it's just too small of a fund uh, to uh, be dedicated uh, to building uh, new vessels. I think what's very important that in this energy transition we have to have a buy-in from uh, the private sector, from the fisheries, but also uh, the shipbuilders. Uh, and their crucial role to play, as well as financial institutions. If we're going to have an involvement of financial institutions, it would mean that they truly believe in this transition and they're ready to, 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 to vouch behind it. So this is the, uh, I would say, the scenario that we, we want to reach and not really go into, into, into the pocket of uh, MFAF. As you could see, we have many... Uh, uh, other uh, priorities to fund from MFAF. One of them is uh, our emergency uh, measures, which we already had to activate in the past uh, two mm -hmm. years, two times, with the COVID crisis and with uh, the spike of uh, 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 marine diesel.